I'm Joey the Bot. What do you do? I am made with artificial intelligence by researchers at Simon Fraser University. Artificial intelligence, which is something I've been working in for over 30 years, all AI is for humans and therefore understand humans and talks the way a human would want and is open for that. So we model that and then put that in our AI virtual avatars that can gesture and smile and emote and talk to you and answer your questions. What this really is, I like to say, are AI coaches. So these are characters that are there for you when you need them to help you. For instance, an elderly woman needing to be reminded when to take her medication or when their kids are coming over or someone doing work and has a kind of almost like an AI coach assistant next to them that can take over some of the work. In this way, um, it's much more human, empathetic and expressive. I think that's what we really want rather than these cold kind of AI decision makers. We have eight PhDs and two master's students and a lot of undergrads, and we're really looking at modeling humanness. In our case, we're looking at expression, emotion, empathy, and putting that in AI systems because we're interested in AI for good. So in our lab, we have deep computer scientists doing the AI, uh, but we also have people who are good at dialogue and narrative and humanities, and then also in the arts. In the arts, it's not only like the texture maps and, and getting the skin color right, but it's also thinking about movement and how you would move and not. For instance, an avatar always, if their hands have to go up every time, rather than just be in these positions, uh, it won't look as good. So there's a notion of understanding some level of acting so the avatars can be very natural. Dialogue systems are deep AI and are still a big research area. For instance, when you think of the current systems you use, like on your phone or your car or your home, where you're using Apple Surrey or Amazon Echo, uh, while surely you're able to say something with natural speech and it, and it answers you, it answers you incredibly directly with one answer um, and then has no memory of anything else you've ever said. That's quite different than what we're doing. We're doing a more narrative personality emotion-based system. So this is more like a colleague or a friend. What's the weather gonna be like? Yeah, it is probably going to rain again. I can feel my creators getting restless. Yeah, that's me and we live in Vancouver too. It always rains, that was a pretty good guess. And with a colleague and a friend, it would remember what you've said in the past. It'll notice your emotions and try and work with you. So it's a much more dialogue driven system. We do with that with some advanced techniques around uh, being able to what we call move from one topic to the no another uh, uh, and also have memory of what you did say. And we have several different AI systems at the same time. One is just if it knows the answer to your question, it will give you that. But other ones are looking over time saying, hmm, you're more and more agitated. I, I, I better ask you if something's wrong. Or you seem to care more about this than that. I should understand that. So you can imagine these different levels of systems that work very much like humans do, uh, uh, where they, they recognize you and they know you over time, and they almost can intuit what you're thinking. In the future, you can imagine these will be assistants and at times coaches that are useful in hospital and health settings that, are, that will keep older people independent long, longer because they always have someone there to answer their questions and guide them that they could be used in education. So let me show you a few of our systems. This is Dave, our Unity 3D kind of gaming level system. What's your name again? Hello, my name is Dave. So he has awareness of, in this case, when I hold down the mic, he, he knows that I am I am talking to him. How you doing today? Do you want to say hello to the people here? So you notice he he just turned to look to listen to us. Nice to meet you. Nice weather, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to show you some others too. The next one is more of an AR avatar. Hi, Margaret. Great to see that you're up. Good morning. I've been waiting down in the kitchen, so it's Tuesday. 
which means I think the kids won't be coming over till Friday. And this is your every other day for medication. So let's get you some food and get that blood sugar going. And let me know about any other questions. For a truly empathetic avatar, um, it has to know what you're thinking and how you're feeling. So here is uh, uh, the basis of some of our systems where we're literally tracking with green that you see here, things like anger, disgust, energy, joy. And in this case, she's very happy, so the green is very high. Um, but you'll see by her fa face and her stress that she'll um, get quite upset at her boyfriend's mom. Look at the spikes. So it really showed up in her eyebrows and other things as I lower this again. Um, so we're able to track this and put it into the mind of the avatar. So like a good friend, it could understand that and give back to you. We'll look at that next. So here we see one of our students talking about the perils of getting a new dog. And our avatar is able to read the emotion off her face like we just saw and the stress in her voice and even the words meanings that she's saying and react to it in its own personality. So let's watch. I recently got a dog. Uh, he's super cute. His name is Muffin and he runs around the house and he's so full of energy. Um, but one day I came home and he had peed in my bed and I had to wash my sheets and it was kind of gross and not a lot of fun. Um, but I did hear that it doesn't really take a lot of time to house train dogs. So we're starting that out and he's still adorable. So I guess I forgive him. I'm sure it will be fine. So we're hoping in the future, as we build in all this technology, several different AI pieces, the, the personality driven techniques, the empathy driven techniques, that we will come up with uh, an AI system for social good.